Many broadcasters have the requirement to add real-time data feeds to their channels. Sometimes the channel needs to interact with the viewers, for example an advanced voting application, or to present continuously changing data such as weather forecasts, news highlights or an amber alert. Grass Valley's Arctic is just a tool for that. The real-time information collector will harvest the real-time data feed from a variety of sources, parse the data to a presentable form on screen and send this data to one or more K2 edges. Users can build a data workflow in Arctic to drive channel composer design templates on air without the need for additional interfacing or development. I'll walk you through a simple example reading real-time data from an RSS feed into a ticker on screen. When I open up Arctic, I have a large states available with a variety of sources. For example, manual, text file, date, time, an Excel spreadsheet, XML or an SQL database query. In this case, I'm going to build an RSS feed from disk, place the source on screen and look for an RSS XML file. I have one prepared here, very simple XML with a record here with one text line and a story number. I open it up in Arctic, select the records I want to use, do a test grab, see if the data is available, and I have the text here available, save it, and now I'm going to build a process flow for the data. There are many processes I can choose of, but the first one I will do now is select the record I want to use for the story ticker. Do a test grab again, you can see what is available, select the test ticker as the grab parameter, then I want to add a space, for example, to at the end of the story. I can trim here, remove characters, so this is one of the processes I have. I want to have a trailing string, a little space, maybe with a vertical pipe space. So this means that I'm adding a character to the test story I get in. I want to determine the color from the story. So select the color here, let's start with black. And now I want to push it to the system. So the first thing I do, I'll select the system here, type in the IP address, connect to the system, it's correct, I'm connected here, save. I want to use a target template, this template is defined in Channel Composer. I'm using this in the playout as well, in the operator panel for example, and in this case it's driven by the Arctic grab process. So select this template, link it to the system, and see what templates are available to use. So these are the templates which are made in Channel Composer, and I'm selecting the ticker in here to use for this Arctic setup. So I can see I have a ticker number, ticker story, I want to fill those in. So I'll drag my RSS feed, fill it in as the ticker story, save it. I'm going to fill in the story number as well. So again, the record process, take it from the RSS feed, do a test grab, select the story number, and drop it in the Channel Composer template. Select the ticker number and see if I can do a test grab. In this case, I've configured it such that upon every changing text message, the ticker appears. So this is a test ticker. That was the text in the XML file. And now I can make this an automatic process by linking it to an event. For example, grab this ticker source. It's a timed event. So every three seconds I'm going to grab from the source and update the ticker when there's a change. I have other events available as well. I could trigger it from the playlist, for example, uh, from Cobalt, after a commercial break, uh, directly after the commercial break, I force an update of the ticker story. I'm ready basically with my project now. The next step I do is put it in grabber active mode and every three seconds it starts grabbing the source and I see every three seconds is updating the ticker now as well. So I go back to my little XML file and change the line here. I expect the ticker to update on screen. This is an updated text line. 
save this. And within a few seconds, I will see an update on screen. So I can have multiple stories, multiple K2 edges fed by the same project by just adding the blocks here. Another example is to change the, the color here to, for example, a red color. Take it active again. And I should get an update of the text in red. So this is a basic example of how to build a data workflow in Arctic. As you have seen, Arctic is a unique tool allowing broadcasters to build their own data-driven workflow to present real-time data feeds on screen. Either independently or managed under control of a playlist, Arctic drives real-time data feeds to a K2 Edge in a flexible and efficient tool utilizing the compelling power of Xenon Composer graphics.